Hey guys, welcome back to another top 10 video. Top 10 favorite Pokemon. This is my personal video. Uh, if you disagree, good for you. You have your own opinion. But if you agree with me, cool. We have something in common. Uh, I don't know why I'm speedily talking through this, but I'm just going to take some time on this. Uh, there's, If you're here looking for black and white Pokemon, though, I guarantee you there's none on this list. Uh, so... I'm also, there's going to be, I think, one more than everything else of a Gen 3 Pokemon. The only reason for that is probably because I favored that generation more because that's why I grew up on. Um, but otherwise, I think I have chose 10 good contenders for my top 10 favorites. Uh, feel free to leave what your top 10 favorites are in the comment section below. And we'll just jump right on into here with number 10, Stantler. Uh, that, I, I honestly just, there's nothing really cool about him. I just like how he looks more like an ordinary animal like we would see out in the wild, rather than a Pokemon. He's a Generation 2 Pokemon. He's weak to fighting. He's immune to ghost. He does not evolve, though, which is very sad. I think he should have had a mega evolution of some kind in Kalos region. Uh, his lever levering rate levering rate is very slow, actually. And he's a normal type. Uh, just, like, pay attention, though, to these pictures. Because they have some of the Pokemon in sprite forms, and they show them show some of them as a better version of themselves or what they look like better. Alright, number 9 is Caterpie. Um, the only reason why Caterpie is on this list is because he, he's the best. I love him. He's uh, from the anime. That's why I like him so much. He's a Gen 1 Pokemon. He's bug type. He is weak to flying, rock, and fire. But he has no immunities. So, But he is resistant to fighting ground and grass. I am reading these off of notes, by the way. Uh, I do want to point out quickly that all my notes are taken off of Bulbapedia. They are a very good Pokemon site if you're looking to get up started with a Pokemon channel, top 10 channel, stuff like that. But, um, yeah, Caterpie, he just like won me over in the anime, um, in like the first couple of episodes talking up. Talking to Pikachu about how he wants to become a Butterfree. And it was adorable. But now on to number 8. Wobbuffet. Uh, he's a psychic type. There's not too much to really say about him. He's derpy. He won me over in the anime. He was like... Kind of resembled to me a, the goofballness and kind of Team Rocket. But he is weak to bug, ghost, and dark. Um, It's a shame that he's weak to bug, though. Uh... Otherwise, he is resistant to fighting, psychic, those two, so, but he has no immunities. He's a Generation 2 Pokemon. So, I guess that one's out of the way, but we'll just, like, take a couple of seconds to just admire his awkward-looking face. Just admire it in all of its awkwardness. And we're still admiring it. He, he's a very awkward Pokemon, but now on to number 7, which is Shiftree, which is a 3rd gen Pokemon. Uh, he's a grass and dark Pokemon. He's weak to fighting, flying, poison, bug, fire, ice, and fairy. Uh, I think that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 weaknesses, which is 2 more than the average. You, got, you guys might be wondering, well, why is he one of your favorites? Well, in gen 3, when I was playing the game... He would, I would always strive to get a shift tree because I would catch a C-Dot, it would evolve into Nuzleaf, and then I could not find the Leaf Stone, and I did not know where to get the Leaf Stone at, so I always strive to get shift tree. So, I really like him. He's immune to Psychic. He's resistant to Ground Ghost, Water, Grass, and ele Electric and Dark. And, like I said, he requires a Leaf Stone to reach the final stage of shift tree um now on to number six the mudkip evolution chain so 
it's every, I'm sorry if you guys can hear like a sweeper going on here, I, just ignore it if you can, I doubt you guys can though, um, so Mudkip, it's a water type, then it goes to Marsh Tomp, which is groundwater, then it's Swampert, groundwater, uh, it's a starter Pokemon, which is always nice, it's always nice to get a very good Pokemon for your starter, uh, if you guys don't remember, this was my number one starter Pokemon, uh, once fully evolved, it is only weak to grass, it is immune to electric, which is taking away one of its major weaknesses. Uh, it's resistant to poison, rock, steel, and fire, and is a generation 3 Pokemon. Uh, but, otherwise he's kind of derpy looking, but he is still a very good starter Pokemon, OP'd. He is, num now here's the number 5, Don Fan. Ground type Pokemon, Generation 3. He is weak to water, grass, ice, but he is immune to electricity, well, as was the previous before. I don't know why, but ground types tend to like pull me in towards them. They're really good Pokemon. I like them. Uh, resistant to poison and rock. Uh, I think Donphan also kind of won me over in the anime. Uh, actually, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if he's Gen 3 or not. I think he is. But he won me over in the anime when Ash caught, caught like a fan pee and all that stuff. Um, just if you guys can hear the paper sliding, I'm looking for my next page of notes. But, um, yeah, on to the next one soon, I think. But, um, who knows what can happen. Um, yes, now number four is going to be Gumi. Gumi has returned. The Dragon-type Pokemon has returned. Weakest, I'm pretty sure, in the X Pokedex, it says. He is a generator. Generator. He is a generator, obviously. A Generation 6 Pokemon. He's weak to Ice, Dragon, Fairy. But he is resistant to Fire, Water, and Grass. And Electric. But, uh, like, as you guys have probably seen, uh, it's now, like, a couple Pokemon in here. They have came back to like from the uh, other videos to make their ways into this so yeah they're making their way into here because they've been on my top 10 favorites on uh, everything other now this picture I really like because it's kind of like the Squirtle Squad but it's the Goomy Gang it, it's adorable it's the adorableness gang now on to number 3 Haunter Haunter um he is Gus Poison type. He really won me over though in the anime. Uh, and how playful he really was. Oh, that, that picture's interesting that popped up. Uh, he's a first gen Pokemon. Weak to ghost, psychic, dark type. He is immune to normal fighting and ground type though. So that's plenty of immunities for me. He is resistant to poison, bug, grass, and fairy. So that's actually very nice that he's resistant to four types and he's immune to three types. That's a really good Pokemon in my opinion. Uh, evolving into Gengar might not even be worth it to tell you the truth. Um, but it, it's always up to the trainer whether they want to lose their Haunter and get a Gengar or if they just want Gengar. Now into number two which is going to be Rhyperior. He is a ground rock type. He is a generation 4 Pokemon. He is weak to fighting ground, steel, water, grass, and ice. Oh, I just put him on here because I really like his design for his skin. But, uh, otherwise, he's immune to electric. Like I said, this is like the third ground type on this list. Um, he's resistant to n normal. Flying, poison, rock, and fire. So that's always nice to have a. Well, they all. Like every Pokemon, I'm pretty sure, has a couple resistances. But it's always nice to see more and more resistances. Uh, it's always nice to see immunities like um, electric, as we have here. And here is Rhydon in sprite form. Because I don't think we ever got to see him in sprite form. Because in Generation. Four, they were starting to move a little bit more away from sprites. But now onto number one, which is Gliscor. Gliscor, he's a ground flying type. He's generation four Pokemon. 
He's weak to water, ice. And water and ice, sorry. And but he's immune to ground and electric. Um he's resistant to fighting, not flying. He's resistant to fighting, poison, and bug. Every other thing is normal damage, but I just think he's an all in all good Pokemon. He's um he has a couple of immunities. He would be great, honestly, in um battle spot competitive battling. Uh I might actually start training one up right now to use in one. But he is just all in all a cool skin a uh, cool design for him and everything. Well guys, thank you for watching again. Uh like, subscribe, comment, rate, do what you want. I don't really care. Just don't dislike that'll make my big lemur eyes cry. Uh have a good day. Oh, Gumi up here. What? Okay. Now uh just do what you want. I don't really care. Have a good day.